Jillian the conference reporter and I found a Philadelphian. I'm at the National Speakers Association Convention. I found Stacy. You say you're originally from Philadelphia? Yes, ma'am. Okay, but he's a first timer to NSA and he was recruited for 14 years for the Navy and he's been listening to Les Brown since 91 and you got to meet Les? Yes, ma'am, in 1998 when I was stationed in San Diego, California. What happened? I was walking the street with another recruiter and I seen a sign like this here and it said Les Brown and I was like, that's my idol and I ran in there and then it gave me free tickets to go watch Les Brown. Yeah. Then I walked up to him after and started doing his little speech and he looked at me and gave me a good handshake there. And so what did you do with the handshake? Did you hold on to that? What I held on to that handshake because I haven't listened to Les Brown since 1991. He was an inspirational to me, also a good yeah. impact on my recruiting abilities. As I retired in, 19, in 2009, I started saying, this is my passion. I'm going to a job. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I said, I'm a speaker. I need to show my skills, inspire the youth today. I like to get to the all security agencies and speak to our young youth in America today to let them know they can, too, have their dreams and succeed. Success is there for all of us. No matter what your life is and what background you come from, you can do this. I've done it, you can do it. Les Brown said, you deserve. So if you deserve, they need to come in within your heart. And you will achieve and be able to do it. Okay. So hang on a second.